Here's another way of looking at this. This is what we call the entrepreneur's journey. And it's a map of a climb up a mountain. And if this were easy, everyone would do it. It's not easy. It's in fact very difficult and has a high failure rate. So what you see here is on the bottom left, is an idea that starts in a, a company or in a mind. Everything starts as someone's idea, right? And that goes through the phase one tools, which include the business model design process, the market research, the competitive intelligence, uh, competitive landscape mapping to figure out how you're going to differentiate properly, what's your competitive strategy, and, and, and other things, you know, building a team which of course is iterative because as the company develops and you know better what you're going to create, you're going to add to that team. And that, in fact, bringing in those new people is going to further iterate your business plan and your vision. And that's why vision up here is vision 2.0, because you probably had a vision 1.0 when you started and had a product idea or a service idea. But that's going to evolve as you use these tools and it's going to get better and better when you do the right amount of market research, competitive intelligence, and optimizing and planning your business model. Secondly, in the product development phase, you're going to be innovating. You're going to be using Skunk Works development tools that we're going to teach you in the product development segment. You're going to be layering in sustainable competitive advantage for the short term and the long term which are barriers to entry of other competitors coming into your market space. You want to build a lot, not just one wall, but many walls around your business to protect it. And of course, as I said, the Trojan horse of moving your go-to-market strategy into a longer-term strategy in a larger set of markets that might be a multi-billion dollar markets over time where you'd never want to go after a market that large initially. And, and you'll understand that in great depth as you go through the boot camp and why. And then, of course, the five areas of business that you need to be successful on that every company needs generally, unless it's outsourcing them, their sales, marketing, finance, product development, and operations. And so those are ongoing iterative processes, creating new products and Outside of this, because the timing will vary, we've got raising capital. That might happen at two or three phases here, or it might happen only one. Obviously, it depends on, on your business and the capital intensity of that business and the need for capital and how much you can finance yourself or how much you can bootstrap the business. We'll talk a lot about that in setting up a long-term financing strategy, which should look at three to five years. It's another area most entrepreneurs, when I see them make pitches, fail miserably because they're just saying what they need now and they haven't laid out a plan for the capital needs of the business over years and the things they're going to have to achieve to bump the valuation and get larger and larger, larger amounts of capital as they go. And of course, down here in the bottom right is professional services. So that's an area where picking and selecting the right people legal, accounting, contractors, consultants, advisors, boards of director people, board of advisor people, all that sort of thing. So that's a summary, and it, it may be a little mind-blowing at this point in time, but each of these is a bite-sized course that will take one to two hours each, and they will all come together as you get deeper and deeper, as Neo did in The Matrix when everything comes together and you understand the framework as a whole. So let's talk about the terminology and the structure that I'm going to use in the boot camp. As I said, the boot, boot camp is a minimum of 25 courses, maybe up to 40, and we're going to be adding to it over time. And each course is a major topic, one of those icons on that entrepreneur's journey that's a tool in the creation of a business or an area of the business. A session, the term session we use, because we've divided these courses into about 8 to 10 or 15 minute maximum sessions, and that's a video lecture so that it's bite-sized and so that you can focus and so that if you're drifting, you can pause or you can take a break between every session. This is very intensive material. I'm in the habit of saying this is protein powder, not popcorn. It is not for the wimps. It is not for people who are not serious about entrepreneurship. It's not for people 
creating or, or, or launching a pizza parlor or a franchise or something like that. This is for creating substantial new differentiated businesses that will have 50, 100, or 1,000 people or more and have the opportunity to grow to tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions of dollars. Now, each course is also designed to cover one system or one area of the business. It's divided up so that you can take this modularly and think about it and how to apply it to your business. And so each of the individual courses sort of stands alone. There are a few where it won't make sense if you don't take some of the prerequisite courses. So depending on how experienced you are as an entrepreneur, you may be able to bounce around and, and jump ahead in some of the courses and take what interests you most. But I would certainly recommend that everyone take all the courses. And also, if you're an inexperienced entrepreneur, and that means you haven't launched and sold the business before, right, you're doing this for the first time, I strongly recommend you try to stay and take the courses in the order in which it's needed. Speeding it up and, and trying to jump around is probably not going to help you. And you've got to make the time commitment, to do it right and understand how all these tools will come together as a whole framework. Now, I estimate that the average person is probably going to have to invest between 45 and 60 hours to complete the boot camp. There's an, you know, if there's an hour of lecture on average, and it might be a little more than that for some and less for others, plus the exercises, taking the quizzes, and also allowing some time while that's fresh in your memory to think about how that's going to apply to your business. You're going to have a mountain of ideas from this, and therefore we've created a way for you to track those ideas because you'd never remember them without that, and we'll get to that shortly. Um, next, some additional technology, uh, sorry, terminology and, and structure. Most courses have a video training, which is one to eight or nine or 12 sessions might be the max. And those are typically labeled session A, B, C, D, obviously in alphabetical order. And so you'll see that in each session. Now, the learning management system will also track your progress and it'll show you where you are. And when you log back into it, it will show you the map of where you are in the system and starting. And we're going to be sending you some gamification things and bats in the back and bells and whistles and an update of that climb up the mountain or the entrepreneur's journey to get to the top of the mountain where you launch your startup. You have all the tools to do that. A key system or a tool is what I've talked about and listed on that map. So when I when I say tool, normally I mean one of those icons on the entrepreneur's journey map that has a certain purpose and it's a collection of things. Downloadable PDFs for each of the segments are made available in the very first session. I would strongly recommend that everyone download that file and print it and then use that to take notes or if you have a PDF editor or want to take notes in a word processor, you can certainly do that as well. You'll probably need, need a two-screen setup to do that. And I find two-screen setups uh, boost productivity quite a bit, so I strongly recommend them for anyone who's serious. Uh, I'm looking right now at a 43-inch 4K monitor and plus my laptop over here, so I'm always using two monitors, sometimes three. Next, there'll be a quiz in most of the Courses, and that's you'll, you'll see in the neuroscience research and learning uh, later that essentially this greatly enhances your retention. There will be a 60 second feedback form, and each of those you fill out will help us make the course better. But in terms of helping you, we are going to make each of those an entry into a drawing, and we will be giving out free prizes and bonuses and extra things to people based on those drawings and, and people completing it. Number E, or letter E, in your $1 million business improvement plan, now this is in hyperbole. You, the, the million dollar business plan is an understatement of what you should be able to drive over years of applying this to your business 
in terms of equity value, but we call it the $1 million business improvement plan because we're, we're looking at the things that you will implement in a business over sort of a one-year period. F sometimes optional reading. I've written many, and published many articles and a couple of books, and those chapters and articles where they're appropriate and enhance that course or that tool are also added. And, and generally, the, the reading is sort of optional, but it will help you come to a deeper understanding. And some of it is designed as handouts to give to your staff to help them use the tool with your coaching and guidance as the, the person who really understands it and drives the process. And lastly, later, we're going to add the best recorded Q&A sessions because we're just going online. Even though I've trained over a thousand CEOs from 30 countries at the live CEO bootcamp, we're just launching here in November of 2020, the first online course. And I've spent six months filming in my studio and preparing slides and editing and, and have a team. We'll show you the credits later of the team of people who worked on it, multiple video editors and content producers and marketing people graphics designers. This is a, a huge project to generate this much content for your benefit, to turn you into a much better, if not a top 5% CEO, as you learn and practice these things.